Question number 18. Uh, we are told a regular plot measures 50 by 24 uh, meters. A round rectangular in shape is situated, situated inside the path plot with a path surrounding it as shown in the figure below. So we have the round, we have the path. Uh, so this is 50 meters the length, the width is uh, 24. We have this is 2x meters, 2x meters, 1 met, one x meters, x meters. Uh, so we have the width of the path is x meter between the length of the loan and those of the plot and uh, 2x meter between the width of the loan uh, uh, and those of the plot. Uh, part A form and simplify an expression in x for the area of uh, the own uh, Roman number two, the path. So because of space, let me use this part here to work out a uh, part Roman number one. So we say, you see now, since we are looking for the area of the path, the area here, we can say it is 50 minus, this is 2x and this is 2x, so it will total to 4x. So that will be the length of the loan. Then, the width we can say it is 24 from here to here is 24 you minus x and x so that is 2x so the, ex the expression for the area would say it is 50 that is 50 minus 4x close the bracket you multiply by 24 minus 2x which you can expand and say uh, when you multiply when you multiply 50 by 24 you get 1200 uh, then you have uh, 50 times 50 times 2x that's 100x then you have uh, minus 96 uh, this is uh, 4, uh, 4 times 4 times 24 that will give you minus 96x 96x then you have uh, 4 times 4 x times 2 x that will give you plus 8 x squared so if you simplify here you'll be able to get this is equals to uh, we can start with 8 x squared you can start with 8 x squared uh, then you uh, you add uh, that minus standard x minus uh, 96x that will be 196x 196x and then we have plus 1200 so that is the expression for the area of the of the room then uh, Roman number 2 we say that the for the path how do we get the expression so we say the path is uh, the whole plot is 50 the area of the whole plot is 50 times 24 then you subtract the area of of the road so which is this is a uh, uh, forgot to put square there so this is uh, we get this is 8x squared uh, then we have uh, minus 196 uh, x plus uh, uh, 1200 1200 so that will give us the expression for the area uh, which you can say uh, this is 1250 times uh, 24 you subtract you open the bracket so that will be 8x squared uh, this will be plus so we have plus 196 uh, x and this will be minus 1200 so you can see here 1200 minus 1200 that will give you zero so we can say uh, this is equals to uh, then it is minus 8x squared minus 8x squared plus 196x or you can write it as 196 x minus 8 minus 8 
x squared so that way you get uh, uh, three marks uh, that is at one mark uh, and here you get two marks uh, from there we go to part b the area of the path is one and a half times uh, the area of the loan so the area of the path is one and a half times the area of the loan so we have uh roman number one uh one nine we have found the area of the of the path is a uh, 196 x minus 8 x squared that is the area of the path uh it should be equals to it is 1.5 times the area of the path the area of this is the, the area of the round so this is area of the round is this one 8x squared minus 196 x and we have plus 1200 uh, so that is the uh, it is equal so what you do is we open the bracket so we say 196 x minus 8x squared is equals to when you multiply 1.5 uh by 8x squared you get 12x squared then 1.5 multiply by 196 that will give you uh, minus 294x and then we have uh, 1.5 times 1200 that will give you 1800 so we put the right terms together uh when you bring when you take 8x to the other side then you get uh, then you get this is the same as we get it is 20x squared that is you take 8 8x squared to the other side it becomes positive so 12x squared plus 8x squared will give you 20x squared then we have 196 here if you take it to the other side uh it will be negative so 294 plus 196 plus 294 196 plus 294 that should give you 490 so this is minus 490x uh, then we have uh, we don't have a constant here so we just say one that we add 1800 is equals to zero uh, when you do like that then you can solve that equation you can first of all simplify here you can simplify by dividing by 10 uh, so that we have uh, we have uh, 2x squared minus 49 x uh, this is uh, plus 180 is equals to zero this is a quadratic equation and when you factorize you'll be able to get 2x uh, minus 9 and we have uh, we have uh, x minus 20 x minus 20 uh, is equals to 0 so this means that x is equals to uh, 4.5 or 20 x is uh, 4.5 or 20 when you factorize a quadratic equation uh, finally we go to part b determine the perimeter of the loan uh, perimeter of the loan so we get this measurement so we're looking at what we have here uh, we have x is 4.5 so it means this is 9 and this is 9 so we'll be left with what uh, that, that is 18 so it's we can subtract that if we take x is 20 it means this will be 40 this will be 40 that is 80 so it will be more than the length of the whole plot so we we take uh, we, we ignore 20 uh, so we say x is equals to x is equals to 4.5 meters uh, perimeter is equals to so we come here and say this is 9 meters plus 9 meters that is 18 so it will be 50 minus 18 that is the length and you multiply by 2 for this side and for this side and you add 
this is uh, 4.5 meters and this is 4.5 meters so that total to 9 meters so you subtract uh, 24 you subtract 9 and you multiply by 2 so this is equals to uh, uh, this is uh, 32 times 2 uh, that is 64 uh, uh, plus uh, this is uh, uh, this is 15 times 2 plus 30 and that is equals to uh, 94 meters 94 meters so that is a perimeter of uh, of the uh, of the loan so that's how you solve that uh, I have skipped some step here in factorization uh, and uh, here we have forgotten to put 2x squared that uh, but you have you if you know how to factorize then you should be able to arrive to that it is a uh, have been limited by space but anyway you should be able to factorize that so that's how you do that question